Shannon Dugdale is a champion, but there are no wins, no ribbons, no trophies with her name on it. Yet in the lore of the Novato Riptide Swimming Program, her presence makes her unforgettable. Fifteen-year-old Shannon Dugdale was born with spina bifida and hydrocephalus, which took away the use of her legs, but not her will to go for it after five corrective surgeries. I'll try to like see if I can do it and like I'll try to make it work and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but I try to make most things work. And she was about five or six and she wanted to be in the pool and I okay I'm not real sure and the coach said let's put her little floaties on and let's just let her swim with the team for fun and she'd do that and then the next year um, she's coach said take them off. So we did, and she, she was fine from then on. And then probably the most memorable thing was, <laughs> I'm feeling it right now, Shannon's first swimming meet. Her mom and I were both at the side of the pool and kind of holding on to each other and just, you know, just kind of choking up because it really was a special thing. The Dugdales are a swim family. Older sister Kelly is a star swimmer for Novato High School. 50 fly, huh? Nice, nice. And you're going to crush her? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> and that's disabled can do it. I think anyone should try it because they probably could do it. But you don't look at yourself yeah. as disabled. Yeah, though. I don't, yeah. Like, I don't say I'm disabled. Like, I, I'm just the same as everyone else. I just uh -huh. have to change a little bit of stuff. Shannon just never gives up, and she won't let anyone else give up. She'll yell at you until you go, too. She's always here on time. She always gives her best effort. She never complains. She tries all the silly things we try to give her to make her a better swimmer. She never says no to anything we ask. 